Hello, my name is Paul Richards and I'm with a company called PTZ Optics. And we're a professional pan tilt zoom camera line and we're very much ideal for the house of worship market because we're extremely flexible and affordable uh, when it comes to our cameras. Uh, I'm going to quickly zoom into one of our cameras and this brand new live streaming box from churchstreaming.tv. Um, these two cameras work, uh, products can work together very, very nicely and I'm going to demonstrate uh, just a little bit about them and then we're going to have uh, how-to guides on our website as well. So this is a dummy proof uh, product. Basically what it does is it allows you to put it on the network, uh, plug in an HDMI input and plug in an audio um, input and you are live streaming directly to your custom built uh, church streaming page and it's just a really really nice device and as you can see I'm going to basically put this right down next to the back of our PTZ Optics camera. Let's uh, get a little lower here. There we go. Um, you can see we've got HDMI right out of the, this camera here, which can plug right into the streaming box. The streaming box could be online. You can also put the PTZ Optics camera online as well, and then that can be used for remote pan tilt zoom of the camera. So once you've got these two in place, you are now live streaming. This, this box is $500. Uh, the PTZ Optics camera starts at $1699. So roughly $2,000, you've got a pan tilt zoom camera, you've got a live streaming box, and you are done. You can remotely control the camera directly through uh, this LAN port, and it is literally, I don't think there is any simpler way to set up a church for live streaming. So it's extremely affordable, less than $2,000, it is a great device, and churchstreaming.tv, uh, the manufacturer of this box, will set you up with your custom portal so that it looks perfect for your church. They'll set you through all the, all the um, steps. And then PTZ Optics will help you uh, with the camera and making sure that you can get remote pan tilt zoom control of it from anywhere in the world. So a couple of things I wanted to talk about. Um, is of course we have two models. We've got a 20x and a 12x. So depending on how big your church is, you might want to go with one or the other. And then we have either a USB model, which you could plug into um, a computer, and we have an SDI model, which is what I'm showing off here. The SDI models are really popular. All the cameras have HDMI, which you can see right here, but some of them have HDSDI and some of them have USB. The HD-SDI ones uh, would not work with this unless you ordered the SDI version of this box. There is an SDI version of this. SDI, for those of you who don't know, is more, uh, is actually sometimes preferable for longer distances of cabling. So I wanted to show that off. And then I wanted to really quickly show this picture of our, um, our layout here of how this is working. So basically what's happening here is we've got the camera, uh, which could be plugged into an HDMI monitor. doesn't have to, uh, but definitely could. Um, we've got it plugged into the um, church streaming box, and then we have some type of audio device plugged into the church streaming box as well. So all in all there, uh, it's really just couldn't be any simpler. Uh, the network is completely, uh, for the camera, is optional. Uh, you could just use an IR remote control, but we're showing it with uh, our remote pan tilt zoom control software. You could also use a joystick controller, so a lot of options there. But um, this is really one of the easiest. I don't think there is an easier way to go about live streaming with your church. If you, if you, if you don't have volunteers, you don't know who is going to be in charge of this, this is an easy way for very affordably to just get your church live streaming uh, for, for very, very affordable price. So that's about it. I wanted to really quickly show off our brand new... Um, bandwidth testing tool. So if you go to speed.ptzoptics.com, it will tell you the bandwidth that you have available uh, for your live stream. So that's someone that we like to know. Uh, you should probably check out too. It's a free tool uh, just to, to see how much bandwidth you have. That way we can help you determine whether you should be streaming in 720 or 1080p, uh, the different resolutions and, and frame rates that are available. Uh, judging by your bandwidth, we'll be able to determine that for you and give you some tips on, on how to optimize your stream. Uh, I like to stream in 720 myself because I'm using a laptop, but 1080p is certainly available. Um, so that's it, guys. I uh, just wanted to show off this brand new device from churchstreaming.tv. And uh, we just published some really great test footage of our cameras being used in churches. We've got some great tips for how to use 
uh, get more volunteers to do your live streams. Uh, some of that uh, talks about doing remotely controlling um, your live stream. Some of that talks about remotely controlling your camera and getting uh, volunteers to be able to join you, you know, outside of church. Maybe they, don't, they can't come in one day, but at least they can still control everything through the internet. So we've got a lot of good information on that. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.